So when I became president of Winchester Electronics, we were a commodity connector manufacturer. The only thing we had to compete on was price and delivery. We were a David in the field of Goliaths. We truly needed to make a fundamental change if we were going to survive. I put together a strategic plan and sold it to the corporation that we needed to differentiate ourselves focusing on technology and become a high-end interconnect supplier rather than a company that just produced commodity interconnect systems. Northrop invested in us, invested in my ideas, and we've seen the company grow fourfold now since we re-engineered that company to become what it is today. I would suggest that had I not been in the executive MBA program here and been exposed to people from the C-suite. I worked with the, um, uh, in, in, in one of our classes, in, in our class was, uh, was a PhD in biomedical science, was starting up his own genetics program. He needed to learn how to be a CEO, how to think strategically. I've worked, uh, I, I, uh, in our class was uh, chairman of uh, ShopRite stores. When you sit with these people and you listen to them and you understand how they think, it forces you to think in a different way from a strategic standpoint. That exposure here at New Haven was the thing that allowed me that critical thinking to develop those strategies.